Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I just wanted to provide some updates on my uh, home lab. So I've actually repurposed one of my servers, my uh, Dell R210, R210 II. I've repurposed that from a PFSense router into a Proxmox node. So I had been running PFSense on that router for about a year, and I just wasn't really using PFSense to its full potential. And every time I would need to go into the router to just look at something simple, it was always a little daunting and complex. And I've since, because of those reasons, I've decided to switch back to OpenWRT and just run it on a uh, consumer grade TP-Link Archer C7 router. And that freed up this server. And that was one thing, like I was always, every time I would walk by my rack, I was always thinking in the back of my mind, like I should probably be using that, uh, that server, the, the Dell R210 II. I should probably be using that for something else. And it was just bugging me because I thought it was kind of overkill for the PFSense. And so, yeah, I, I just decided to just wipe it and I installed Proxmox on it and I've actually added it to my main Proxmox cluster. So I had actually never worked with multiple nodes before. So this is my first time having two nodes. And one thing I totally forgot is that this server only has four gigs of RAM. That's fine for PFSense, but for a Proxmox node, it's a little lacking considering my other node has uh, like 192 gigs of RAM. So I wanted to kind of kind of revive this server a little bit, bring it back to life and add some more RAM. So I actually went out on the internet, purchased some RAM. Uh, it arrived the other day. Uh, I got two eight gigabyte sticks and uh, I think there's four slots in this motherboard. So it should be a total of 20 gigabytes total all said and done. So the two uh, eight gigabyte sticks. And then I, I think there's two two gigabyte sticks in there. So if everything goes well, I, I think there shouldn't be a problem with all that RAM working together. Um, but I guess we'll find out. Um, but yeah, if you're interested, just keep watching. I just wanted to provide a quick update video and kind of just demonstrate and document what I'm doing, upgrading the RAM. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, dive right in. All right, here we are just uh, taking the, the lid off of the server. So it's just like half a turn of your wrist to loosen that screw and then just push it, kind of push it back away from you. And here we go. So the, the RAM is in the center, just right under that piece of plastic. And you can see there's four, four RAM slots. Two of them are already occupied with those two gigabyte sticks. Um, so here we are installing the first eight gigabyte stick. And uh, I was just making sure the, the pins were lined up correctly. And then this went in with no problem. And now we're putting the second one in. And same thing, just making sure the pins are in there correctly and, you know, pushing with even pressure. When you push it in, you don't want to jam it in. Uh, now I'm struggling to get this piece of plastic back on. Couldn't remember exactly the orientation of it. Um, but eventually we, we figure it out. Don't worry. It's in the correct spot now. And now let's just put the, uh, put the case back on or the lid. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And the only thing left to do is uh, check it out in Proxmox. All right, and now the final test, just make sure it shows up in Proxmox, all that RAM. So let's go, I, I turned the server back on after installing the RAM and there we go, we have 19.49, close enough, I'm gonna call it 20 gigabytes. And our RAM upgrade was successful. Um, that's all I wanted to do, just uh, you know, document me installing and upgrading the RAM. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video.